If they never hated me before You gon' hate me now See Big brother Kay, you know, My big brother Kay. Right, man. I own it by like two months. You know what I'm saying? And we are tuned in again to the Underground Dialogue Podcast where the name speaks for itself. That's it's your big you. brother Kay. We on to my far left, my brother Key Stowe in the dough. And y'all see who's sitting in the middle. He's the dancing director. He ain't a he ain't a middleman. <laughs> he ain't a middleman. He's the man in the middle. Look, what the? He, did he, did he, did he, did he try to write that song? Man, you know that's what we do. Hey, hey man, that man say Mr. Fashion Director. <laughs> hey, hey, be keep it. He's still be shooting. He be shooting slugs. Right? I, I gave him that number yeah, one. Yeah, he, he, three strikes. I got. He, I got. He get me from time to time. For real? No, get him on the second strike. Don't, don't. Yeah, I got to give him three, man. Cause we 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 we, we got we got to get this right. We got to get the show right. Yeah, exactly. He started off on the right energy. Yeah, that's yeah, right, right man. Legendary energy, man. My brother, man. He um, I hate when people say he doesn't need no introduction, but he really don't. You know, he just multi-platinum, multi-gold, iconic, legendary. He hate when I do this every time, but I'm gonna do it every single time, man. Because uh, no I'm, dud. And I'm going and I'm man, going next. Stop. Look, <laughs> and look, what Keeso just said, we was talking about you before you got here, all the albums that you ever released. You probably the only dude they never dropped a dud. That one day. They never had that one that just be like, oh no, nah, he face. You, you know what? I, I you know what, Reno, I feel like I might have done it one. Which one? So I, last, so I can argue with you. The last of a dying breed might have been. Ah, come no, on. That, that's definitely that, not. That, that's not dead, bro. That's not a dead. No, no, no. no, no. I don't, I, no you know, and then after I recorded that record, I never listened to it again. You want I do that with all year. my albums, but mm. trust me, if they did a poll, bro, nah, it can be nobody would say that you ever dropped a dead. It's impossible. You can't. Wow. See, because what you might view to be your lowest one, is still better than some of these other cast classics. You know, you know what? what? I, I, I really appreciate that, man. And um, I, I make a. a I, you know what? When I make records, yeah. when I made records, I. It had to be everything that I wanted it to be, or it wouldn't come out. Right. right you right, see what I'm saying? Right. Like I would never put out a, a, a song that wasn't complete. Gotcha. You know, I got so many songs, man, and we ain't, we ain't got no uh, stipulations of what we can play, what we can't play. Right? Oh, you can play and say whatever you want. All right, good. Because yeah. you know that some, you know, on, on me and Willie's podcast, we can't play music got because we got to clear. It. Got it. But man, I got I got stuff that you might need to hear, bro. Man, that's all good, but yeah, man. yeah, man, you, you, we can keep this going, but I'll keep playing songs. Yeah. And, and you know, <laughs> like every song, every moment in life is gonna have a song. Without doubt, yeah. Ain't yeah. they crazy? That, that's if you paying attention. See, a lot, lot of the artists don't pay attention to that, so they miss the song. You on the bus, that's the song. You walking down the street, you you see two cats arguing, that's the song. That's the song. You yeah. got to be observant. To catch For real. You know, mm-hmm. One you got, you did, to me, I was telling Kay earlier, to me, the, the best one so far was that uh, Last of a Dying until uh, Deeply Rooted came out. I think, personally, Deeply Rooted hey, look. is your best hey. work, personally. No. And, and one of the best ones I used to think on there that I, that I related to the most is that I'm bad. Are you in church? Man, ain't all bad. It ain't all bad. But the flow, the Man. flow, the flow, <laughs> the flow, <laughs> the cadence. Yeah. So, now, I, I give yeah. me that on the cadence. Yeah. Yeah. The cadence yeah. doesn't yeah. match. Yeah. I give me that on the cadence. The right. cadence, the hook, the beat, the whole. Now that's one of the repeat ones. And then when I heard it, I said, "Wait, hold up." You know, and I'm gonna tell, tell you something yeah. about face, y'all. See, it's like he. He don't like when people give him his props. All That's the not time. true. Hold on, let me let me let me say it. Uh-huh. But what I what I love about you is that if somebody piss you off, you are gonna let them know. Hey, hold on, I'm I'm, I'm me now. <laughs> I done seen him in action on live. Like, hold on, wait a minute now. Uh-huh. Don't forget, 
And that's that faith. That's the face I like. We're like, hold on, bro, because the humility is cool, but you got to pull that sword out. You can hide it behind mm-hmm. your back sometimes, but let them know it's still there. You kind of like Every now and then, I got to flash that motherfucker on them. Without a doubt. I try, I try not to, man. Yeah. But 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 back to what you were saying, on, on like the cadence. Yeah, that's a bad boy. was freaking phenomenal. Yeah. I'm going to tell you what that changed. It, 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 to me, it resembles the other hit you did was in my block. My hood, what was it, my, my black, yeah, my black. You know, it's, it's that, so that those two are sort of resemble this to me. Well, that was like a full. You can tell it's a full hit. So, the my block record, we were in. I was recording the Fix album, and I got mm-hmm. some more. Uh, this was not a song from the Fix that we never put out, but it was from the Fix album. And the Fix album, like Def Jam, gave me an astronomical amount of money right. to mm-hmm. do this record, right, right. and. I was working at Def Jam as yeah. the president of Def Jam South mm-hmm. for an astronomical amount of money. Yeah. So then, man, it, it was so easy to record that album because I didn't have nothing to do. Yeah. Normally, I have to make my beats, uh, 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 write my song, and then kind of mess it all together. But this this time, all I had to do was pick my beats right. Right. and write my records. You know what I'm saying? But uh, they brought a record to the table with the Roberta Flack Donny Hathaway sample. Have you heard the original yet? No. Let me play the original right quick. Look, Just, and then while he get that together, see, my block, see, that's my theme song when I'm hooping. Like somebody trying to drive to the basket. Man, y'all, man, you Before know Before we even get there, I'll be like, my block. <laughs> so when we was walking in the building, right? Okay. K. Reno was walking. I said, man, why that boy, that boy, that boy, that boy like, walk like an old school. <laughs> Junior high school basketball. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, look, man, you supposed to be ranking on him. No, no, that wasn't no rank. That wasn't no rank, Reno. I was like, that wasn't like a basketball player. That's their walk. That's Coach Rosenberg. You ain't know Coach Rosenberg, huh? No. Okay, he was a coach at Woodson. No, no, Woodson. People know me from my head uh, and my walk. Yeah. People that ain't seen me in years. People that ain't knew me before I was rapping, they gon' they gonna call me by my name. They gonna say Eric. But they know me from my head. I recognize your head, I recognize your walk. So Bro, I I have never known you not to rap. Amen. And I know I've been knowing you for at least 36, 37 yeah. years, maybe longer than that. How old you was when you started? Cause we the same age. I'm just a few months old, a couple months old. I started like on the scene when I was like 15, 16. Okay. See, I started at yeah, 13. At that point? Yeah, I wrote my first record at 13. I wrote my first rhyme at 13, put my first record out at 17. Okay. I put my first record out at 17, yeah. too. Yeah, so I mean, that, that's a lot of you. Yeah, we came together, but like we came out together, right. you know. Right. We, we definitely right. started at the same time. I, I think I finally got, I finally broke onto the scene. Well, made my first record at. 17? Yeah. H-Town Records. As a matter of fact, I recorded that record right so here. So that, 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 right that was before uh, Shortstop? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I recorded my first like record uh, right uh, next door in these apartments. And then the man that recorded the records, that H-Town Records name was Jesse Harris, yeah. and he lived right here in those apartments facing the building. Where's that record at? Is that like, did it, did it put it out? <laughs> it, it, it came out. Yeah. I pro- I'm pretty sure it's worth a lot, a lot of money. Who owns it? 45. Who's on it? Who owns it? Shit, I own it. It's you been 30. Oh, because it can reverse years. back to yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. Man, I'll yeah. put that record out so fast. Man, I don't want no. I don't. Anyway. I don't care. You could have been rapping like Dr. Seuss. <laughs> this song never made the pick. Okay. Watch me. I ain't heard it yet. You need to do this thing? I didn't do this thing. Flow. Watch me. It's the place where the hook. 
muscle is non-stop. Your muscle is one block. Willing to do a die for a spot. Loyalty mandatory. They jam you. Don't ever sneak it. We live and die with secrets. No crying to show my fingers. Cool. My homie, still my homie. We dirty till it's over. We thirty. We get the old and it's early. We hit the corner. We slay. Quit the chunk and we gang. We get the dump. Bang up the Audi five. We ride. We get to something. No change. We still get greedy. Get money like how we need it. Love could never leave it. Betray it could never see it. It's dangerous, but it's plain. It's the only place I can be in. Except it, I'm just a nigga. I'm twenty four seven scheming and screaming. Baby. See, segue into what we talking about. No, no, no. See, this thing. Yeah. See, we we, we got to talk a little noise. <laughs> when you got so many. You know I don't have no problem walking out this morning. I know you, know you see my own. See, we we should have been close to those. <laughs> yeah, we don't like to have all the stuff showing. Like, so that's the dead body. Yeah, we, don't, right we, don't, we don't want the dead body showing. <laughs> but when you got so much heat, bro, that a song like that can't even make the cut. That's crazy, you know. And that's like having a basketball team. We got all these, you know how they bring all them dudes in for the Olympics? Yeah. And then it'll be a dude that was an all-star and he can't even make the team. He couldn't get in. Durant and LeBron and all them on the squad. Damn. That's what that's like, bro. How, how did that not, how did the decision go to not let that make the record? So I, I reached out to uh, Most Death. Uh, okay. And Most Death has a verse on this record somewhere. And it just, his verse was immaculate, and and the verses that I did were uh, pretty good too, but it just didn't fit the the yeah, fix. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It didn't, it, fix, it, it didn't it didn't fit fix the concept. Yeah. It didn't fit that concept of the fix. I got so many songs that just didn't make. Now that that makes sense though, because I, I see it I see it now because it it be like that when you got an album. The album the title is a concept, so all the songs gotta fall into that fall into that umbrella. And sometimes you make a song that that don't really line up with everything else that's on the project, you know. So yeah, I, I get that, but I will steal stuff. Yeah, I was about to say because that that, that that seemed like it fit yeah. to me. Bro. Man, I'll kill y'all with this thing, bro. I got so many records for y'all, bro. That's why I said, man. We we I'll be hearing you saying how you don't want to keep putting out music. And is it to the point because of what what did deeply rooted do to you when it comes to the music sales or the music? Oh, it did business? absolutely fantastic. It did. Okay. Oh my God! What made you want to stop? We did a hundred and I don't know sixty seventy thousand units independent. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it, it don't get no better than that. In my opinion, my yeah. thing is this: right. exactly. um, we don't have. We don't really have control of our shit no yeah. more. It's industry. It you ain't know what art, I mean? It ain't like, the artist. Yeah, okay, I, yeah. I, 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 I'm not signing the label. I put my old stuff out. Mm -hmm. But you signed to a label, though. Right. Right. You know why? Yeah. Because every time this shit is played on Spotify, yeah. every time yeah. this shit is played on Apple, Man, yeah. or whatever music uh, streaming platform, that's your label. Yeah. Oh, that's what he's saying. Nah, he, he right. That's your label. Right. You, 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 can't, you can't fully escape it. You can't fully transition into real freedom. Because, like you say, even if you say, "Well, man, I do everything myself. I do it," which we a lot of us do, you still going through those platforms. You still going through the platform, platform, and it's and it's yeah. costing. But don't they give you a whole half a half a half a penny? Yeah. Oh man! Yeah. Hold <laughs> up! Yeah. Hold up! No, man, yeah, that, man, that, that, but so 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 basically, you saying you you wouldn't pissed off about the art. You pissed no, off about how, how the art at all. Yeah. And look at streams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look. Wow. And he, he, you can move the four or the eight and just put up there by itself. That'll be strong, but the four and the eight is up there together. Wow. That's forty-eight point four million streams million. last year. I mean, this year right here, forty-eight point four million streams. Yeah. Bro, what's what is that like, man? All these years, you that's know how crazy. many cats we done seen come and go that that lost their heart. They ain't doing it no more. What that's like in thirty some years later, you still touching fifty million streams when. Old school rappers ain't supposed to be getting them kind of numbers no more. We got lucky. We call it a blessing, man. We call it a break. You know? God said it was something. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Right. We come on, Reno man, stop, bro. Stop, man. We come from the we come from the same everything at yeah. the same time. Yeah. What you mean? You dropping ten albums at one mm -hmm. time, bro? Yeah. 
Come on, dog. You talking about how legendary I am to you? This is how legendary you are to me. I'm the interviewer, man. Like, <laughs> no, man, you, man, you, like, you actually you can't read to me, right? Yeah, man. bro. So man, I'm finna go. I, look, look, go ahead. <laughs> I missed everybody. No, look, 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 here's the thing. So if, if, if you notice, like, let me be like real straight up, straight the fuck up with everybody that's on here that's paying attention, like. People act like they want to do a record with K. Reno. Mm-hmm. But notice, ain't nobody just asked K. Reno to get on his shit. Little <laughs> <laughs> Kiki came here and he said, I ain't finna know we're going to exactly. know K. Reno. <laughs> exactly. Man. And you know what I said? I said, bro, I'm always bigging up K. Reno yeah. in my interview. That's right. Always, always prop him, bro, because of his ability to deliver. Yeah. Every time. Man, you know though in this life. I ain't done, man. I know this is not for the transition. Go ahead. Two more seconds. I need two more seconds. Y'all both the same. No, it's not. No, we we different because we're giving you flowers. No, I'm gonna give you your flowers, bro. Because I had the kahunas to put K Reno on my record. Yeah. 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 But notice he ain't been on no more. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) That's that's the cleanup on our nine. Say, man, (laughs) why that man say? Me and face second, me and face second to none, making records for fun. You 36 in the strip club getting naked for fun. Hey man, you know what I'm saying? K Reno, you have got to be the dopest MC, period. And and and, and you know what? We we took coming from you, bro. We took we took we took the same road coming in, but but our path paths differ. You know, in the middle of it, you wanted to keep your, you wanted to keep your life, your sanity, your peace of mind, your not being mad and bitter at this industry. Yeah. And I chose, I chose the other road to go ahead and see what it was like, bro. And you, you had wisdom and knowledge upon wisdom and knowledge, and you knew what this shit was like up here, but you ain't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, but at the same time that was happening, I was looking at you, I was looking at Will, I was looking at any of the. Uh, well, y'all was the first ones to hit it on that level. So I was looking at y'all and like, man, proud, like, because y'all did it. Yeah, but, was, but you was there, though. Yeah, all was there, all you had to was, do was, was do the same thing. And you said, you know what? Y'all can add that shit. But you know what? Like you say, it was set up to be that way because what y'all did, y'all brought credibility to our region. Because you know how they looked at us. Yeah, but the day if you would have if you would have put some shit out there for them to look at, they wouldn't have looked at us like that no more. Well, I mean, I think you the one that made yeah. them not look at us like. That. See, I, I say this. I said this last time I, I interviewed you, bro. You the only artist I know that is loved and accepted on all the, the coast, all in all the regions. It's like don't nobody got no problems with face. Nobody. So you brought the credibility to people say, well, man. These dudes is country. They they can't rap. None of them can't rap. Nah, hold up. Yeah. Did y'all hear? Y'all hear face? But he don't do storytelling. What are you talking? What? About? Well, well, hold wait, up. Wait, wait, wait. He don't, he can't tell no story. Did yeah. y'all hear face? Exactly. Hold up. He can't spit. He can't wear a plane. He can't, he can't put uh, brackets together. Yeah. Did y'all hear face? His videos ain't that in- intriguing. So now what? That, <laughs> y'all seen face? And y'all seen face? You know what I mean? So you you brought that man, and y'all brought that to us because I think now that made the people look at the the, the rest of the artists, not just the Houston, but the South, and say, well, you know what? Maybe they can do a little something. That that helped me. Yeah. Your your um lyrical uh technique and 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 the hype was everybody's uh goal and mission. Like shit, I man. I'm sitting in the car. You know my DJ, right? Right? Yeah, yeah, Damo. Mike, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We Shout sitting, out to Damo. We, <laughs> we sitting in the truck ride, man, and uh, we was listening to one of your records a long time ago, mm-hmm. and uh, it's like we look at each other, <laughs> and he's like, "Damn, K. Reno, <laughs> bro, because the the, the 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 lyrical content was like, oh shit." And we looked at each other and shook our head like, man, K. Reno. But that, we were saying that the other day. Like, the, the more, it's, it's like certain people, they fall off when they get older. No. Y'all guys are getting sharper. And, like, K's last CD was crazy. Who? 
Case. Oh, I thought you talking about Case. I was like, yeah. I like Case. <laughs> I, like, I, like, I like Case. I like Case. We're not talking about the outfit. We don't call it Case. <laughs> we don't call it Case. We just call it Reno. Yeah, I call him Case. Yeah, I just call it Reno. Yeah, no way, yeah, no way, yeah. But his yeah. album was over, like, way. The lyrical content was crazy. Yeah, ain't crazy. So man. the same way your Deeply Rooted was. I ain't, man, you was so sharp when I deeply rooted. Man, I gotta find some more said. Said, I'm so glad y'all invited me today. Man, look, and what's so cold, it's like the game be missing something with Faith. Faith, he, he be taking too long, bro. It's yeah. like five years, four years, and like, man. he be taking too Hey, look, let me tell y'all a story. Look, I, I don't know if you remember that. That's why I brought him a copy of my book today. There you go. I tried to battle Faith one time. Yeah. Day. So you don't remember that? This was, this was back when we was at Kids Jam at KCSU. Okay. And the story's okay. in the book. Okay. But he taught me, he gave me he gave me the game, like gently gave me the game. Okay. We was at KTSU probably in the late 80s, early 90s when the Scarface single came out. And everybody <laughs> mama was about to tear their head off anytime that song came on. Right? Mr. Mr. So I'm still now the, I started small time. Okay. The game. Okay, so when that came on in the club, bro, it's over. So I'm still young K Reno, battle rapper K Reno, you know. I don't want to try to prove I can battle rap <laughs> anybody. We at Kids Jam, I guess we was doing interviews at the same time. Face came later. I'm outside with Murder One with Ronnie. And Ronnie Love. So Face pull up. Well, Murder, jump out the car. Shit, and we outside talking to my mind. I'm like, damn, I'm battle face. You know what I'm saying? And he Pull out a cigarette. I'm so I'm talking. You had just told me, you said, man, I did a show in Louisiana last night. Exact words, George. He said, man, I started singing that song. I just took the mic and did this. Oh, yeah. And the whole crowd was singing a song. So I said, well, man, you know, I kind of want to see where I'm at, man. You know, that's, that's battle. I ease into it. Face say, man, I'm more so trying to build something, expand something bigger than just the local scene. And I, he didn't, he didn't say like, Man, shut the hell up. Hey, he like, <laughs> like put me down easy. Kind of like, dude, it's levels, man. I ain't worried about that no more. Straight up. That's basically what he said. And I oh, got that. Man. And, and, yeah, and I, I, I feel, no, but I feel yeah. dumb. Uh, after I feel like this, I'm like, this dude ain't worried about that. This dude mm. is building a legacy. Now, this early face. Okay. He ain't even way in now, but he was building a legacy. Like, dude, I ain't worried about that, right? Mm. You need to be focusing on trying to get. Where I'm at, mm. cause that little battle rap, you that's cool, but in the long run, that ain't that ain't all that you get into, man. So I, I appreciate it. I can't, um, I don't remember that, but yeah. I, I, I mean, for the um, for the betterment of my career and for the for the for the, the legacy, man, I'm glad. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> I, I, um, but I, no, I, I respected that, bro, because I just, I was, I was a little high head, like I just wanted to see any rap I saw, I wanted to buy the face, but like, dude, yeah, yeah, man, we ain't, we ain't on that, we ain't on that. <laughs> <laughs> they got a little good mob on this one. Mm -hmm. This dude got songs. That unheard that he can probably put on the cop put as a, put out as an album and just tie the game up right now. I gotta find this song, man. Me in the game. I guess the game is another one. Now you know what? The game is underrated lyrically. Bro. Lyrically, yeah, I say Straight the same up. way too. I don't know. I don't know what what category they put him in this category. I guess I don't know. Just on some West Coast gangster rap, yeah. but game be putting some bars together. And hey, that boy shit a fool right now, huh? Yeah. Yeah, hey, game a fool right now. That's amazing. Bro. That's amazing. Man. Yeah. We in here with the legend, the icon, the one and only. I'm all right. I'm trying to find y'all some music, man. Let me take your time. We'll, we'll, chop, we'll chop it up. Yeah, again. keep chopping it up. I'm just, I'm just trying to find some stuff. Let me, let me transition real quick, man, because we was talking outside about a lot of the stuff that's going on, this violence and stuff going on out here in, in the city, man. And I definitely wanted to get your take on it. And you asked me a question that I was actually going to ask you in relation to then and now. And you say, man, is it the same? Is it different? Because the thought process is, we're going to say, 
man, back when we was coming up, it wasn't this crazy. I can't say that. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Yeah. What's your take on that? I think that today these kids are just a little bit more reckless. Okay, like they're a little more reckless. Cause listen, K. Reno, when we was coming up, and we was young. When we was young and coming up, it was I, I think I, I'm almost certain that it was the same kind of shit going on. But it was going on because of uh it's the same thing. Uh robbery, yeah. it was, uh drug uh drug uh uh Selling. It was it was uh Yeah, it was because jacking. of drugs, it was jacking, it was stealing people's cars, it was but I don't the, the, the thing that makes it different right now is is it's the, the the age of, of social media. Right. Yeah, and that's what makes it more uh, yeah. like, damn. Yeah, you, you know, see. like you you got a little you got a, a, a little kid to rock, walk up down the street on live and right. then bomb somebody. Right, right. Oh, what's up with this nigga here? Bam, 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 on live, got them views. And now yeah. you, now you got them clicks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now you got the now you got the like sitting right. stuff. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, um, like drug wars, bro. Like, like drug related. You know, cutting people's. Uh, Throats and pulling their ties through their the Colombian necktie yeah. days and, right. and and you know another example my partner Toast remember Toast yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, they shot Toast in his safe Cornell brother. Cornell Cornell, yeah. Cornell X and Quincy yeah. Evans brother yeah. they shot him in the safe yeah you know they shot they shot his girlfriend through the hand mm. okay um, and I think they, uh, somebody got killed on the couch that they say was still still asleep yeah you feel me right. So, it, it, and you never found out who did that because, yeah. you know, they didn't, the they, didn't, ain't they, they, they didn't talk because they didn't know nothing to talk about, yeah, yeah. right? And I think that the person that was guilty of doing it finally did cons- confess after he got a, a life sentence or something for something else. Mm-hmm. And, um, but I, I don't, I can't say that it's different, man. I think that these kids are a little more reckless than we were mm-hmm. growing up. You know, I think they're a little more reckless, man. I think that those bullets that they, well, I can't even say that. Because it's, it's been a whole lot of kids hitting crossfire. No, you know, a whole I, lot of drive. I agree because this this is called the Joshua generation. The and Joshua they, generation. They got they got that fearlessness in them. It just misguided and mischanneled. So, what what do you think? Where do you think that we dropped the ball? If if you think we did, well, we we, we most get, definitely dropped the ball. You know, we dropped yeah. the ball. Because we grew up, we, 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 we let our kids grow up with the mentality that, well, we raised our kids with the mentality, that I don't want my kids to have to go through what I went through growing up. And I know that that strengthened you. And, and, and that made us into the, 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 the people that we are today. But, you know, I don't want my son to have to go, I don't want my daughter to have to go through what I had to go through. And I think we might have fucked them up because we didn't turn out yeah. as bad as we think, as bad as we thought we could have turned out. You know what I mean? Like, everybody is putting that I want my child to have a better life than I, or I don't want my child to have to go through what I went through. And man, I, I think that's just, they not we getting failed. The, they, not, they ain't getting the principles though. Okay? They're not getting principles. I don't want my child to go through what I went through. Okay, that's cool, but they still got to learn how to appreciate whatever it is they do get. They, they ain't got no easy. money. They ain't got no money, bro. They don't have no money. They did it for nothing, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know, they don't have no money, man. I used to always say a lot of times what they missing is we was able to go outside. There was people on certain corners that would teach you and show you what not to do, how to do it, whatever. Tell yeah, you. Yeah. Force you on yeah. what not to do. Let me tell you something, man. And this is as real as I'm going to be able to put it. Mm-hmm. Sydney Lopper had a song called Money Changes Everything. Mm-hmm. All right, I got money. Money changes everything. So think about that. Money changes everything. You think that these little niggas would be out here doing that dumbass shit if they had money? No. So, or if they knew how to get money. It don't even yeah. matter not right. knowing how to get it or get another. Like yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna come and break into your house, or I'm not gonna come and try to steal your shit, bro. I because got I got some money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think that it comes with, I think it comes from it's systemic. not having. It's systemic. It's a systemic, systemic issue. 
It's, it's, a, system, it's, it's, it's a condition system. that wow. we've been put right. in that forces you to go into that mode of what you feel is survival. And now survival to me means I'm finna jack him. I'm finna take what you got. I'm finna kill you yeah. to survive. It's systemic. It's, it's set up like that. It is. And and, and, and and America is not ashamed of what it did without a doubt. Without, without a doubt. All right, since you want to, since you want to just really get on some deep shit, Professor that's, Reno. That's, that's a book cover. Yeah, yeah, a book title right there. They, yeah. Professor Reno, yes, this is what they did. This is this is by design. This is right. not by accident. Yeah. Not by accident at all. And they're not ashamed of what they did to you. Right. They're not ashamed of what they did to us. Right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna bring you to this country against your will, mm -hmm. kidnap you. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna sell you off to the highest bidder. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take everything that you was, your name, history, all that. You ain't going to even know you what it is. You don't know who your people One are. One generation after you're going to be cut off from your whole existence. That's Bruh. Great. We don't, I mean, I don't know nobody across the water. I'm going to make you right. build America then call you lazy. Right. I'm going to oh, make you build yeah. this country and then wait, let, let's keep going. I'm going to sell you. Bye. And I'm going to impregnate you and make you, and use your baby that I have with you for alligator baby. Oh, All right, I'm gonna sure. make you have sex with your mother. Oh, so that we can create the ultimate fuck, sell him. And uh, your daddy better not say shit, or well, I'm gonna kill him in front of y'all. Eight, nine, 10. And you wonder why, hit yeah, man, this is so, this is, this is so bad, but it's so real. Yeah, you know, you'll tell me, to get over slavery, exactly. but you won't tell the Jewish people to get over the Holocaust. Good teaching. Let's go. And on that note, <laughs> on that note, keep talking about it. <laughs> but that's part of the systemic issue. But I'm just saying, <laughs> bro, <laughs> get, rid of, get rid of. Get, I mean, we if we got to get over it. I want to know how do we get over it? Do we just leave this shit alone and not, will not worry about it no more? Because every time I say anything about anybody of, of, of the Jewish religion or nationality or what is it, whatever you want to call it, I'm anti-Semitic. Yeah, and then you'll be crucified. You can't fucking crucify me. I don't give a fuck. You don't sign my check. Yeah. And that's the that's the and, and yeah. see that's the beautiful thing about when you sit on the shoulders of, of the streets. Ooh, you yeah. don't feel none of that that you talking about, man. I ain't I'm just that. saying, Reno. I ain't mad at no motherfucking body, man. Excuse me. I am. Okay, well, no, I'm, go ahead. okay. I can't speak uh, yeah, to you. all right. Well, all I'm saying is, man, like you want me to get over some shit that you can't get over. Yeah. Thanks. All right, yeah. man. And does does reparation fix the situation with our people? It's a star. Because right. we all got some money. I mean, once yeah. we all got some yeah. money, yeah, here's the thing, man. If you were really a, a a masterful thinker, especially in a powerful position as far as the United States uh, uh, Congress or Senate or, or, or is concerned, you would say, man, I got so much uh, empty land over here, here and here, and I'd like, I can mass them together. I can put all those land masses together, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, put put the uh, put electricity and, and water on it, uh, and just give these uh, black people somewhere to go, and we can, we can let them have their own shit. You got a final call over there. You got the final call over here because everything you're talking about. See, yeah. when you look at. And we, we, we believe in separation. Shout out to the Honorable Mr. Louis Farrakhan. But Dr. Elijah Muhammad talk about separation, bro. And what he said is that America needs to give us some of these states. Mm -hmm. Give some of these states because it's owed to us. So give us some of these states, about 20 of them. Yeah. And let us go by yeah, ourselves. That's on my mind. And then y'all can do whatever the hell y'all want to do. And in giving us these states, guess what's going to happen for them? They're going to get a reprieve from God who already tanned America up because of what they've done to the black and the brown and to the Native American. So at the end of the day, if you want to save yourself, you would be smart to say, yeah, just like 
Faith said, give them some of this land, let them go for themselves because we they don't want us. They don't want it. And, 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 and it is, it's been proven that the union is not beneficial to, to us. It was beneficial to them because we built this country up. But it ain't been beneficial to us. So let us go. Yeah. Let us go. But the problem is, let me ask you this. Because this is the second part of that argument. You say, okay, well, if they do open the door for that, how many of us would really go? How many of us would really come? I'm going. And make that move. I'm because going. we so in love with this westernized society and what we think it provides for us. A lot of us ain't gonna go because we on white man job making two hundred fifty thousand a year. We 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 getting paid in the NBA, we getting all this money. A lot of us gonna say, them niggas crazy talking yeah. about separating and leaving. So let me let me let me let me put something on your mind. Take black people out of everything. Uh oh. Uh oh. You just took you the seed. You just took yeah, the seed in the soul out of America. The food. The yeah. food is bland. Take black people out of everything. Imagine if black people only did it for black people. Yeah. They wouldn't let you in. Mm. You know, they had a basketball league, a football league, a baseball league. They had. They had record labels, they had oil companies, they had all of this shit mm -hmm. and they wouldn't let you in. Right. You know, like you won't let them in. Right. You know you know the the, the affirmative action is on the table, right? Hmm. Yeah, they kinda yeah, the they call it back. Yeah. Yeah. Pull it back. Yeah. I'll tell you something funny, Reno, I want you to digest this while we all sitting here. Yeah. Everything that we have was granted to us by a judge. Talk about it. Talk about it. All the rights that we have, the right to, to sit down um, at a restaurant, right. the right to, to assemble, the right to vote, the right to not walk wrong. outside and not be fucked with, the right to whatever has been signed off on by a judge. Imagine if those same statutes or amendments that are put in place are now taken away from you as per Roe v. Wade. Wow. If they can take if they can change that law for 50 years, then that voting that voters act is next. Yeah. All right? Oh, oh. That affirmative action act is next. Yeah. That uh uh, uh, uh nigga you free act oh, oh, oh. is next. Yeah, and captivity comes behind that. Yeah, let them have Anyway, I say, you know, yeah, if, we, if, we, if we fall into, the, if we fall into here, that trap man. in 2022, then we the fools. We right? just yeah. here, y'all. We just here, y'all. Yeah. Shout out, shout out to um, all our friends, friends that are not responsible for what their ancestors have done to ours. <laughs> Let me ask you this. <laughs> well, that's cold, man. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, because, because, wait, but then I'll let you go. Because some of my best friends are white. <laughs> that, that was my uncle. That was me. Yeah. yeah. But, but you know what? But on that note, yeah. because a lot of the racists would try to use that as a justification. But what we say to them is that you still benefit. Exactly. Hey man, don't man. You, you know, ain't got to tell me, yeah. big bro. Yeah, exactly. So, hey man, you the people that are responsible for yeah. slavery is dead. Right. That, that's Mitch McConnell saying this. Right. Wow. That the people that are responsible for slavery are dead. Yeah. That's bullshit. The people that are responsible, the entity that's responsible for slavery is alive and well right, right now, right. today. Right. The institution is still in place. Hey, bro, it's in place. And guess what's more, and get on another deeper level than that, what's in, still in place is the mindset. Bro, bro. That's what's on the bottom. flesh died, but the mindset passed on yeah. and it's on for generations and generations and because, generations because, and because generations. If, if I have benefited from your suffering to where my generations and generations are gonna eat forever Ever. I ain't trying to come off of that exactly so they could talk their talk all they want but at the end of the day y'all still eating fat off of what was done to our ancestors by your ancestors so if, that, that's facts if you had all of the power in the world that you want to relinquish it yeah, and the answer is come on and, and, and America has all the power in the world. And 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 what Frederick Douglass said about power, 
He said, power conceives nothing without a demand. So everything that we did receive, it came from them same fights you was talking about. We had to march and yeah. get beat upside the head and bit by dogs and spray water. Yeah. But Mr. Farrakhan, he took it a step further. He said, power conceives nothing without demand backed by power. So our demand got to have power behind that in order for it to be effective. So I mean, this is what I wanted to ask you. Man, this is gonna be bad. Cause we all cause we own the, the subject of all stuff. Now, you and Witty D was running for office around the same is that a fight you think about taking on again? What 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 cause, cause yeah, you didn't try to do that. Bro, I was happy. But did y'all talk about that? Or y'all just nah, happened man. to be doing that at the same time. Hey man, Willie Willie uh came in about a month later and I was like, man. <laughs> Why you ain't want him to do it? Because because you know the the move that I was making was powerful. Yeah. Okay. All right. When he jumps into the 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 the, the, the move, it looked like a, a shit show. Now it doesn't look serious. <laughs> Get up, boys, for Congress. <laughs> yeah, you know, it don't look right. I was happy, man. I, I, I mean, I mean, but, but shout yeah. out to Will, man. But but I would I would have waited, man. I would have waited and ran for something else. <laughs> The last thing you wanted is two months. You wanted two, two dudes with, 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 you know, you see how our podcast is working. Bro, I, man, I would have loved to see it. Man, because let's, let's you talk about these dudes is not politicians at all. They throwing their hat in that arena, but I can imagine them wars that was going to take place with you and Will yeah. talking to them folks, man. man Especially someone just, 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 just asked the wrong question. Man, just, watch, just, I love just, watch, just watch our podcast. Oh, that's, without a doubt. That, that's enough, man. We you watch know. the podcast all the time. Y'all like okay. yin and yang. Let's get into that, though. Because we definitely wanted yeah. to talk about that, the um, Ghetto Boys Reloaded podcast. What made y'all decide to do that? How did that idea come about? Well, in all honesty, I, me and Willie talk on the phone for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours about all kinds of shit. Yeah, man. Right? To the point that when my girl would have to leave the room because she knew we was going to be on the soon. I was with her. She just leave because she knew we right. were going to be there for a long right. time. Right. And I was talking to Charlemagne about doing a podcast. Right. And uh, I had a buddy of mine that was a comic, white guy, that I was going to do my, my podcast with. Uh, and um, Erica said, "Man, it may be, maybe better if you did it with Willie." Yeah. And then I was like, "No shit!" So I text Charlemagne and said, "Man, what you think about the Ghetto Boys doing a podcast?" He's like, "I'm all on board. Yeah. I'm all yeah. way on board." Yeah. So I call Willie, and Willie is the most impossible person in the world <laughs> to do anything. That's the funny part of that podcast. Man. Man. <laughs> yeah, I'm like <laughs> Willie. Yeah. I'm like Willie. You want to do a podcast? Hell yeah, yeah! I said we're gonna do it through iHeart and Charlemagne. How much we gonna get paid? You don't give a fuck about nothing, but yeah. how much he gonna get paid? Okay. If it was just me and him doing it, then they wouldn't be know how much we gonna get paid. Yeah. But it's when, when, when <laughs> I, I, but, and I understand. You know, Willie Willie want to get the money for it. You know, I ain't mad. I ain't mad at him either. Um, I would love to. Go out on the road with the ghetto oh, boys. Oh man, come on. Yeah, and I would like to take uh, oh, Bushwick cool. Bill's son yeah. on the road with us. Little Bill. Yeah. 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 But that's not going to happen. Yeah. No. Willie, Willie says no. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So it looked like I, I, I'm just touring by myself. I just like y'all dynamic, man, because it's a conversation. It's, it's two. It's two partners that's talking to everybody. Talking. Y'all arguing, disagreeing, yeah, and y'all yeah. just doing it on camera. And everybody get to see, it, but y'all still end up getting to the point or whatever. Oh yeah, no about. doubt. That's what and make it dope. He was talking about this. Our last um, podcast uh, was talking about surviving the encounter. Yeah, you know, with the police. Right. Okay. Right. And he was like, "Man, you know, just get out the car, just comply, just blah blah, just blah." Like, I can't do that. Yeah. Like, I'm not doing shit. Mm-hmm. Why are you fucking with me? I'm sitting here. What do you want with me? Yeah. You want to know. You want to see my ID? For what? <laughs> I think he, I yeah. see what you're saying. What I do? Yeah. What you need to see my, what am I being that's harassed? A, that, that, that's a hard oh. conversation. Yeah. It's a very hard conversation that's because, hard. like hard. Willie was saying, survive the encounter yeah. and deal with that shit in court. Yeah. You're trying to get the best. I lean more towards that. 
That's not you. And, 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 and I lean, and I lean more towards fuck you. Yeah. Why yeah. are you fucking with me? Yeah. But see, you trying to get the best outcome. It's yeah, man. Okay. The, the, the best, the best cause, outcome is to leave me the fuck alone cause, cause because it ain't gonna be easy. Because people is here think about Sandra Bland for me. everybody. And oh. think about, but I'm I'm using her specifically yeah, because, it. in my opinion, yeah. the police officer was trying to trick her. Mm-hmm. So if if your mindset is, man, why you mess with me and all this, shit, the law know he know what to say to you to get a rise out of you to escalate it to so, give him a justification. Bam. To do no, I'm not gonna never give him a justification to bam on him, yeah. but I am gonna let him know it ain't no easy. Um, it ain't no easy life. Yeah. And 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 I got a lot, 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 a lot of law enforcement friends in way, way high places. Right. Mm-hmm. So make sure that when you fuck with me, you read that it's a, it's, it's it's real. Right. Like don't come in here playing with me. I right. don't do shit. Right. I don't even smoke weed, bro. Like, let me make it, man. No, nah, it, that's a hard conversation, bro. It is, man. Because it you, when you think about it, it's like, man, I got people that expect to see me walking in, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, if I got to just, all right, man. But the problem, but to your point, how many of us have complied and still got it? You know, what the whole thing. It's tough, man. Yeah. That's, that's a hard conversation, sitting in his car eating a hamburger and the door fly open. Yeah, man. Or one dude sleeping in the, in the drive-thru line. See, because I don't like when they get online and then all them racists get in the comment section I'm like, well, if you just comply, then I'm not gonna, gonna that's have, another that's reason a why I'm not going to comply. Yeah. Fuck you, man. Yeah, that's hard. Man. Fuck y'all. Yeah, yeah you going to keep complying? You going to keep kicking me in my ass and keep water holding me and sticking, sticking your dog on me, man? Yeah, man. Man, leave me alone, man. We need to do a poll on this. Right on that, yeah. Man, leave me yeah. alone, bro. For real. You going to keep kicking me in my ass Putting the water holes on me and sicking the dogs on me if I keep letting you do me like this, man. And the crazy now thing. you doing our kids like these yeah, babies. Exactly. You handcuffing these babies and throwing yeah. them in the fucking squad yeah, car. But stop. And you know what's so cold? Like how we have to actually sit down and talk to our children on how to talk to the, the police. The police. Mm-hmm. This is what you do. But you know what I did notice? Go ahead. No, I'm, I'm through. You know what I did notice, though? Mm-hmm. I said, oh, I'm young. Black HPD officers now. Okay. So what do you think about that? Love that. Okay. Because we speak. Let me speak each other. Like I said, I said, man, come on, yeah. Reno. Yeah. I said, Damn. Yeah. I say that because of this. When I was growing up, those was the worst ones. Some of them. Yeah. Nah, you had the nah, one or two. That you had the to old brainwash motherfucker. You remember, remember Q yeah. said black police showing up for the white cop. Yeah. You, know, you had a handful of them, but for the most nah, part. Nah, they got black police in black neighborhoods, and I see it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I and I and I respect that and I I I I appreciate Mayor Turner and the chief for, for understanding that. If you don't speak the same language and you don't have the same capacity compassion for my community you don't need to be as, 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 as we do, yeah. then you don't need to be there. Right. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you are if you are excuse me, if you um Hispanic are you you're a Hispanic police officer, then you, you should patrol the neighborhood that you have compassion for. Yeah. You don't need to be in, in fucking uh um yeah. South Park, Sunnyside. Unless you that boy Unless you from there. Yeah. yeah. You know, because you got some some of our some of our Mexican partners, they like they in they in hip hop, they they so we more and connected. I'm cool with that. But but I understand since he when um uh what's the dude name that killed Mike Brown? Darren Wilson. Mm-hmm. He's he, a piece of shit when he got there. the job. He shouldn't have been there. When he got the job, he said, I want to go in the black neighborhood. Said, That's where I'm going at. Uh, he already knew what he was going to be doing once he got to the black. So, yeah, you know, they got to screen them dudes, man. They got to they got to do psychological evaluations on these cats. And and because they, they, they jumping into law enforcement specifically to carry out them kind of acts on, on black folks, man. I'm, 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 I'm very disappointed that we are in... 2022 and we still have racial injustices being done to black people now let me let me let me let me tell you what happened so Bel Air got an eight million dollar baseball field being built Worthing does not have a baseball field period mm. right Worthing is in the hood, y'all. Y'all don't know. Yeah. 
Um, if you look at all of these uh, Ford Bend schools, they all have turf fields at their school now. Yep. And you go to Jack Yates or um, uh, any of these other, you know, schools, you got grass. Yeah. The, the lap that is falling apart, man. Bit up, bit up grass. grass put, you know. put, put the same shit. I'm talking about not even in the, not only high schools, junior high schools have the same thing. They got turf fields. Yeah. And I, man, I'd give anything to see Woodson get a turf field. Yeah. Uh, or, or yeah, or Thomas get a turf field. Yeah. Man. Uh, I don't know if Pershing has a turf field as of yet, but I went to Pershing. I like to see. They probably got one because of money over there. Yeah. But I'm just saying, man, you 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 very selective with that purse with the purse string, mm-hmm. and 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 check this out. You if you 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 charge like okay, look at the taxes. The taxes that's being paid. In, in our district, right, as opposed to the taxes that's being paid in Cyprus, right. so you get more shit in Cyprus than you do in uh, Blue Ridge. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like when this shit all just trickle down into our neighborhoods, man. Well, they have better education, yeah, but they have better teachers. Yeah, yeah. you know, more resources. You got more resources. Yeah. Put more money in the our schools, and we'll have the same thing. Notice the conspiracy, big bro. Notice the conspiracy. You want to put the 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 A, but you want to put the the C grade, D grade teachers in our community. Yeah. But you got top notch in the Katie School District, right. and that's why they perform as much as they do. And then yeah, how, it ain't it ain't it ain't, it ain't that we stupid, y'all. No. How how, yeah. how we you know, how we fix that though? Because that, you know you remember back when we was coming up, John stirred in the world, and that's in our neighborhood, in South Park. Ford took capacity. All of a sudden, over time, we started losing the students, man. The, the, the quality of the schools went down. Yeah. How, how did, you know, how, how did we happen? fix, well, how did it happen and how do we regain what we want with Yates and all that, man? How do we regain that, man? Okay, well, let me tell you what happened. First, our parents had, uh, our grandparents had that house. Okay. And their children grew up in that house. And they got married and moved away from that house. Right? Mm-hmm. And they had kids and their children populated the neighborhood that they lived in. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's why you've seen the big uh, 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 the, the big numbers that they went to Missouri City. Right. They went to those Fort Bend schools. That everybody left I see our that. neighborhood. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. Went, to, yeah went to Missouri City. City. We, did. we moved from South Park to Mo City. Sure yeah, we did. South Park to Mo City. Right. South Park to Mo City. Um, and then... As your grandparents got older, you know, as your as their children got older and they all moved out the house, it was just your grandparents in that house. So they had no more kids to feed that school. Yeah. So when your when your parents, uh grandparents or whatever died out, then it was just an empty house yeah. that sold to somebody else, or that just just they're being uh maintained by whoever, by you, and rented out, but it, it's not it's not the same because we don't have families growing in those communities no more. We we moved out. Yeah, yeah. We moved out. We got our own families now. Then we, then we had the zoning too, where if you live somewhere, you had to go to school there in the proximity. That's true. Live. That ain't no zoning. They no kind of lifted. They, they, is it still zoning? You can go wherever you want to go now? Or you got to uh, be? No, most, most school districts, you still got to go. But yeah. you got a lot of, like I got kids that, I'm in Brookshire, but I got a lot of kids that would live in Katy. Yeah. They got cousins. You know that they share addresses. Oh, so yeah. Like we, but we used to do that yeah, too. Like, that like too, yeah. I'm gonna put my aunt address yeah. on there so I can go. My, to, my wife did yeah. that to yeah. to not go to Long Beach Unified School District. That was a bad school district. Yeah. So she went to um, Mayflower, which yeah. was a much better school. So right. she she used somebody's address. She gonna get mad. We got to teach you on camera, man. That's why we asked yeah. that question. Yeah. That that's crazy. Man. We got to get our neighborhood back. And the way that we fix it, I mean, it's it's over, man. Because you know why. Gentrification, bro. Hold up, yeah. Man. Yeah, because yeah. you look at it, look at it like this, guys. Um, we moved in to the neighborhoods mm-hmm. that they moved out of. Yep. When we moved in, the property value went yeah. to zero. Mm-hmm. 
in the property value in these um, suburb neighborhoods, they, they shit went all the way up. Now, they're moving back to the inner city. And we moved out to the suburbs. So now they're taking over. We followed them out there and they doubled back. They doubled back. And yeah. bought it at that low. And bought it at the low price. price. And that's way out of range. You can't even afford to come back and follow them. But man, let me ask you a question, man. And, and, and I hate to be like this, but man, why are we constantly trying to be a part of something that does not want us to be a part of Say that it? one more time. Yeah. yeah. Doubt that me. is freaking true. That's, man, that's, 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 that's the conditioning. You know, we always talk about how we've got this thing as black folks where we feel like white folks ice is cold and, yeah. and ice is ice. It's the conditioning. That's why we run out to spend thousands and thousands of dollars with Gucci and Louis and all these different people. But then when your little partner in the area come out with his clothing line yeah. and he say, man, I won't fart it out for you. You look at him, I ain't paying no fart out for no t-shirt. See, yeah. it's conditioning. It's a mindset that we got. It's a poison in our mind that we got to shake in order for us to get what we need to get. So that's the answer. Plain that's the answer. answer. You got, you got, don't, don't, don't get me wrong, guys. You got people out here that's all for diversity yeah. and inclusion. Yeah. And and um, the owner of the Astros, Jim Crane, mm-hmm. is the epitome of a good dude. Like a solid dude, and I think that the world could take a page out of his playbook. Really? Oh yeah. Okay. Well, you teaching like, me? Cause yeah. You know, I, nah, I look, you, hey. see, that's why he laughing. Cause I look at all of them, bro. Bro, I was yeah. like, bro, you. Yeah. I be me. like <laughs> me. Yeah. Yeah. I look, yeah. I, I look yeah. too because I, I, I know what it is, bro. Yeah. But when I but but when you start showing what it is, then. You know, my understanding yeah, a little better. Don't talk about it, be about it. No, nah, man. Yeah, bro, he could have put he could have put anybody yeah. in this country over that winning team. Yeah. But he chose Dustin. Yeah. Dustin's making it happen. He could have he could have he could have yeah, that's a winning team. But he could have befriended anybody to help him uh uh be a special uh advisor to him. But he chose Reggie, Reggie Jackson. Yeah. All right. I got you. you know what I mean? I look, man, look, I I I'm a, Take it that your word. I'm the. I, that's just me. I'm, I'm look at him like, even that. I'll be like, what's the reason? What, what are you up to? And the, 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 lady, <laughs> the lady that runs the, the foundation is a sister, Paula Harris. Yeah. Okay. Who in, in turn, you know, like they do a lot of stuff for the community, man. Yeah. And, I, and I, I, I appreciate it. No, nah, that, that's, that's cool. That, but that's cool. I, if, if we're gonna look at the, uh, who's the guy's name that owned the Texans? McNair. Son, Cal Cal McNair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. His daddy was going to say, "We can't let the inmates right. run, 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 the run the jail. jail. Yeah. They run the prison or whatever he said." You know. Yeah, but how did? But but where does that set his son? Yeah. Well, he's in the he's same the line. Block. Exactly. Same yeah. And then, and can't. Yeah. And I'm looking at Jerry Jones, bro. Yeah, we we were talking about that too. Okay, yeah. man, Jerry Jones is. Uh, Sorry, George. Yeah, go ahead. Cowboys fan right there. I mean, let's shit. get it. I'm, 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 let's, let's get it. Yeah. Let's to my story. Don't hold back. Let's to my story. <laughs> Jerry got caught, and I don't even think he give a fuck about being caught. But he's on a picture when he was 15 years old, mm-hmm. and part of the mob. I don't know. You you, you stand there denying black people entrance to the school you attend. Hmm. And now you own black people. No, well, let's let's think about this now. You don't want you don't want these black people coming in your school. Mm-hmm. He was fifteen years old. Yeah. Do you still feel like that at a thousand years old? Yes. I was just about to say Because what what, what change what would change your mind? Right. What would change your mind? Well, I mean, you can go to recent history. Oh, okay. they were doing the protests. What did you tell the players? If you, exactly. if you take that me, so yeah. I mean, you ain't got to go back. You ain't got to even ask that question because he's shown so, in recent right, years you know, where right. his mindset is, you know. And and, and he also, because we, we covered this in, in another episode, yes, he also knows that he ain't got to speak on his own behalf. He, sure ain't, gotta, he ain't got to defend himself. No. Because here come 
The other one's gonna go stay in there. Yeah, and bust out there and, and show, hey man, look, Jerry, that's Jerry. I mean, look, when, when we talked about that, this is the example I gave when people was trying to say, well, he was 15, he didn't know no better, or 14, whatever he was. Mm -hmm. And I told Kisto, I, I say, I say, think about when you was 14 years old. Mm -hmm. And somebody told you, hey man, don't go down there on that corner down there. Because uh, you wanted to find out what's going on on that corner down there. And you knew exactly what they was doing. You can't play it off like you didn't understand. Mm -hmm. exactly. It's a lot of stuff I did at 14 that I knew exactly what mm -hmm. I was doing. And I knew it was wrong. Mm -hmm. And I had to sneak and do it. So I can't let you get away with the past of, I didn't know. You wasn't two months old. You was 14, bro. Mm -hmm. People having babies at 14. People robbing banks and committing murders at 14 years old. You knew what you was down there doing. So, I mean... We, we, we had to just understand and be able to separate. If we sports fans, which all of us are, separate the actual sport. Hey, man, I'm watching this as a fan. Mm -hmm. I'm a fan of these certain players. I'm not a fan of the so-called ownership. And you have to separate that from it if you go enjoy it as entertainment. But I don't like when people try to justify what any of those racist cats do because you just you can't do it. You, you can't justify it. That, that you can't justify standing there and, and try to say he was just a kid. You know, mm -hmm. you, you, he know what he was doing. Oh, he no, no. want the niggas around him. What you think? What you? What, how, what's your take on Dion? A lot of people conflicted on that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but a lot of people, um, a lot of people don't have. Um, they don't have themselves together. Yeah. Right. Let me let me let me let me put something on your mind. Now I'm the first person in 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 in, in the room that'll that'll stand up and say, "Man, I love my people, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, I do anything for my people, man. Mm -hmm. But will my people reciprocate? Right. Right. The man was working at. Jackson State and they was screwing him out of his money. Breaking in his cars. Breaking in his cars. Office. Whatever. But I'm just saying, like, you saying that you only made $30,000 but it's 65,000 people in the, in the building. Yeah. You keep my money, just give me give me some uh, the, the whatever kind of deal they had worked out. They said you're supposed to get like half of the of the, of the, of the stadium fees once it reached over thirty thousand. The capacity is sixty thousand and it was up to capacity every game in the season. But they were telling them it was only getting twenty it was only twenty eight tickets so twenty eight thousand six uh tickets so. So, so they, they were fucking him. Yeah. Yeah, they, they kept it under the thirty. Yeah, they, they was fucking him. Yeah, he yeah. couldn't hit his bonus. No time. Yeah. So with that said Would you be mad if I left the office when you refused to pay me? Right. Right. Oh, man, you got to do this for black people. Okay, I don't mind doing it for black people. Right. Mm -hmm. But do I do it for black people for free? Right. You yeah. getting paid? Right. Yeah. You getting paid? I can, can I get paid too? Or you just going to be the only one to get paid and I'm just going to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You take the money and I'll keep doing this for black people yeah. for free. Right. It ain't like a white boy over Jackson State College, is it? What the fuck, man? No. Yeah. You, yeah, I, you're I'm not paying me zero, yeah. and I got $5 million yeah. over here. Mm -hmm. Even if they don't have all the money, they got some of the money. Yeah. When in reality, here I was getting none of the money. And, 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 and his presence generated money. Yeah. Money but, that they had never generated. And, and don't forget, he was donating half his paycheck. Yeah, was he donating half of it or 100%? Half. Okay. Yeah. Well, he donated. He yeah. got paid for his time, yeah. but still, it was supposed to be a piece of money that came to him after every game. Exactly. Yeah. 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 You, 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 you know, and give me nothing. Yeah. I got the house paid. Every game. Food and beverage is out of control. Do they sell beer in college? I don't know. They might. I don't know, but food and beverage is out of control. I Maybe mean, we selling hot dogs yeah. like. Yeah. Steaks. Yeah. Ten dollar hot dog. Damn, yeah. I can't get nothing. Probably merch too. 
Merch? Oh, of course. Uh, Come on, let's bring it up. Yeah, that boy thinking about the air. You know, no, 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 we on the same thing. We talked about this. You know, yeah. I, I wasn't mad at Dion at all. Even, even, at all. even before I knew all the stuff contracts. that you just detailed. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? TV contract, you yeah. right. Oh, man. Yeah, 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 nah, you know, ESPN nah. and yeah. all. Nah, and they had a reality show they were trying to pitch too. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, nah. I, I, I take I take Dion aside, and I think if anybody that's mad at Dion, like Stephen A. Smith, who I think is a joke anyway. Like he was he down with Dion? Was he upset? He probably was pissed off because anything to throw a nigga under the bus as far yeah. as yeah. Stephen A. Smith is concerned. Yeah. Man, let, I, I got that wrote down. What about the black sellouts? Man? I mean, it's getting ridiculous, bro. It's like, man, you know what? It, 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 it's it's a it's a good thing to sell your people out. They pay you more money. Yeah, it's, it's big business. Huh? It's, it's big yeah, business, man. That's to sell to sell your people out to throw black people under the bus is big business. Yeah, that's great. Kyrie Irving. Yeah. Kyrie Irving posted a picture. That's it. Didn't say a word. Didn't say a word. <laughs> Didn't say a mumbling word. Mm. And got treated like he was a mass shooter. Got treated worse than a mass shooter. Because a mass shooter went to Burger King. I took the Burger King. Mm. But that's another level. That's another level. Look, still ain't said a word. That's it. it ain't said a word. Nike took the took the, took the contract. contract. Yeah. And said they can't work with him ever. The NBA suspended him. Right. right. And they put him on the apology tour. Yeah, and you gotta go to you gotta go to sensitivity yeah. training. You gotta show us that you remorseful, remorseful for. I just I just posted some shit. Yeah. Yeah. The secret relationship between black and Jews. Yeah. That's a book you need. You need that book, B. You you think you think you pissed off now? <laughs> you read this book. I'm scared to know. I'm scared to see what's gonna happen because this reveals. Almost everything. That's volume two. If you read that book, I'm scared to see. I'm scared to. I don't. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to think. What's gonna happen? But yeah, it just it just amazes me. You hit the nail on the head. You said that selling out black black folks, selling out black folks, is big business. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's it's set up that way to where you can just send one of them out. Go go get him. Yeah. Go get him, boy. And they Man. gonna get it. And you see how Stephen A was defending Jerry Jones with the whole outfits and everything? Yeah. It was crazy. He was defending Jerry. Well, I mean, that, that's a that's an easy way to get his money. Man. That's an easy way to get his contract renewed. Bro, at the end of the day, no individual can rise higher than the condition of their people. And it's gonna be a, a, a sad place for them type of cats who make their living off the throne. Brother, like sister, on the bus like that, man. That, that's a tough man. We got the OG legend, Mr. Scarface. Thanks. We gonna get you out of here, man. Real man, quick. I, I, really I want, I want to ask you, for you know, like, how you feeling? Because we, you know, I ain't never get a chance to talk to you about what your son did, man. Yeah, in terms of giving you that kidney, man. That's that's, but that that's that's the strongest form of love that you that can display, imagine, yeah. man. But I see you now. Yeah. You're looking good. You, you, you're back on the scene. You know, how you feeling, bro? Yeah. Better than I deserve, bro. Yeah. Man. man, I got my strength back. I got my weight back. And, yeah. you know, um, it's, I'm just blessed, man. It's a, it's a, it's a, oh, man. All right. How your son? How, how is he doing? Is man, he, he better than he I am. Snap back. Yeah, 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 he better than I am. He's man. better. Yeah, he's way better. But here's the thing, bro. Man, yeah, shout out to like, Chris. Man. Shout, shout out to Chris Jordan. Man. A lot of, a lot of, I want to tell everybody what I went through. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then you can see where I'm at right now. Because that's what we was talking about before you came. Yeah. You were saying, like, your outlook on life got to be different. Because now it seems like you just looking from a whole different New lens. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you only focus on what really matters. Bro, yeah. I'm going to tell you something. Uh, in March of 2022, mm -hmm. 2020, I'm sorry, I caught something that I couldn't shake. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't walk. I could. I was just tired all the time. I, I just couldn't breathe. Like it was an elephant on my chest. Man. And um, I went. To, I finally went to the doctor. I thought it was uh, pneumonia. Yeah. It was probably started off as pneumonia. Never know. Yeah. But I. But my lungs had filled up with fluid. Right. 
my heart, the second my heart filled up with fluid, mm. uh, my kidneys failed, and I had the COVID on top of that. Yeah. And my heart collapsed on one side. So that's all in the month. That's all at the same time. Right. In March. Right. I finally um, snapped out of the COVID, went to the hospital, um, got on dialysis. Yeah. Um, had opened, had to open up my heart to drain the fluid off of it. Um, and I had to get a kidney transplant. Right. Yeah. Uh, so right now you, I'm, you looking at living testimony man. that there is a God without man. a doubt, man. and 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 God, it's because of God that I'm here. I man. climbed out of a grave, man. y'all. Man. How many people they said died from COVID? Millions of people. Man. Well, I was one of those people that was supposed to kick out. Uh, uh, looking at all the illness, because of illness all that I had. The, at the same the, time, the comorbidity. So the COVID yeah. didn't cause it. Didn't the COVID did. The COVID did cause it. That's what caused it all. Yeah, it's underlying conditions that the COVID yeah. triggers. It, 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 all, it, it attacked all yeah. of that at the same time, right. and it killed. It killed a lot of people, and I was on that list. But God said no, and it brings me to. to and then I'm gonna say this, and then we can we can we can uh, end uh, peacefully. We do we we don't realize how precious time is until until that clock is ticking. You know, until you realize, like, damn, yeah. that clock ticking, man, mm-hmm. and I ain't got but twenty minutes left. Man, come on, you, 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 you tend to look at time different, man. man I know you do. Yeah, and and my advice to anybody would be to don't do shit to waste your time. Yeah, because I've seen people get their money back. Mm-hmm. They woman back. I've seen people get their house back. Oh, I've seen them get their cars yeah. back. I've seen them get their friends back. Right, yeah. I never seen nobody get their yeah, time. A bad back. man, you get some time back, boy. Yeah. You a bad man, you get that time. You ain't get getting that time back, back man. Yeah. It's gone. That time is behind no. you, man. Don't waste you. your time, bro. Yeah. Yeah. If it ain't, if it does not benefit you in any way, then why waste time? Mm-hmm. Don't mm-hmm. waste your time, man. Good teacher. Yeah. Reno man, I I, I I I I appreciate you, man. I love I you, bro. You. I, love you I respect too, you, man, man, to the utmost. I think you are the best MC that ever lived and, no, and, and crossed the, no. the, the the game. No, <laughs> and this is coming from one of the best. Look at that. When you listen, when you listen to this dude, you'll understand what I mean by K Reno. And when you just shake your head, like every time you say his name, just do this. Yeah. Wouldn't be damn K okay, Reno. Nothing, man. What 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 did South Park? What was since y'all both around from South Park? Y'all both high tier uh, artists. What did South Park grow play in both of y'all lives? Being from South Park, yeah, it was a breeding ground, bro. Because yeah, yeah. South Park had so many killers, man. From the, all the rappers, man. Dude, you, you talking about Nip, Face, Gangsta Nip, Klondike Cat. Oof, man. Man. You know AC Chill. All, all these Chill. Oh. oh. Man, when we when we talk about uh, yeah. uh Kiki, mm-hmm. Kiki, God, yeah. uh, Neighborhood yeah. Kells, uh, who else? Out of, out of, out of, out of, out of, out of the South Side, Killer Calion, Kill, yeah. Killer Cow, PSK, man, man, man it's PSK just, thirteen. I'm like, forgetting somebody, but it's just a breeding ground. It just I you mean, had to know, know hard, bro. What we missing? Man. Little Flip come out of uh, come on, that's all uh, South Park. Yeah, by me, by me. Uh, uh, come on, dirty fat, red, fat, fat, no, yeah. fat, Hulk. fat, Hulk. Yeah, uh, damn, screw, yeah, screw yeah. not from oh. South Park. And, and then we talking about I mean, we're rappers, really, oh, you know? really. but it, it, that's what I'm saying. Even if we talking mm-hmm. the guys we naming, they all from different generations, yeah, you know they all saying? come out of that South generation. South. Then here comes screwed up, quick, here comes Kali on them. Now it's like even all the way up to uh, Sauce Walking them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, this that's no disrespect, yeah, yeah. just the summer by. South Park and that South Side, just a lot of monsters just came up out that out that mud, man. And yeah, we got some heat out of there, yeah, and we missing a lot of people. Don't be, people. Man, don't be, yes, yeah, you know. And man, um, I love y'all to death, Reno, man. Like I say, man, I appreciate you, man. I respect appreciate you, and I respect you, your career, bro. Man. 
and I love what you're doing with the community and, and, and bro, anytime Man. I'm on the phone. Like, yeah, and, and, and look, when, when I hit him up, I'm going to tell you what he said before we go. I hit him up. He say, he, we know hello. What, he say, Reno, what you need and where you need me to be. That's exactly what he said. Yeah. So what you need where you need me to be. Yeah. He made this real easy. But Period. I call him too. Yeah, exactly. No but I call him. Yeah, no, nah, man. I, this is this ain't no shit that just nah. happened last week. Nah, this, real, this, real. Oh, this ain't no this ain't no brothers just hanging around each other that just like each other while we together. Right, yeah. Right. You know, right. like no nah, man, I hold him in the highest regard. When we talk about MCs and, and MCs that come out of Houston or MCs that come from he the one. We he the tell, one. We always tell him that he's he's your favorite rapper's favorite rapper, bro. Him yeah. my favorite. <laughs> This yeah. man is, is everybody's the, favorite the face yeah. of our city. No pun intended, but like I say, he brought credibility to our region because when they heard him, yeah. they heard somebody who was in an echelon with anybody who ever came through the annals of history and rap music that could stand next to any one of them. And they all the greatest of the greats. They don't know me. They know him and they respect him. Yeah. So yeah. shout out. Scar so, brother, Scar fan. Listen, just start popping in the clip every time the wind blows. Man, you know what I'm saying? Matter of <laughs> fact, we gon' we gon' we gon' clap it out my window. I appreciate you. Love and respect, man. I appreciate you. What up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. And keep stowing the door. Underground Dialogue Podcast. As y'all can see, man, the merch is in. The merch we is got in. Hoodies. We hats and hoodies on these boys, man. So look, if y'all want to get some of this Underground Dialogue Podcast merchandise, y'all need to jump on it. Now. Let them know what they got. You just go to the website. It's called undergrounddialogue.com. And pictures, whatever you need, we got you right there, man. Come and help support the Under- Underground Dialogue Podcast. Hey man, get you some of this cold ass merch, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? man. We ain't playing with them, man. Look, look. Look at that. All grassroots. All yeah. grassroots, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? These are different. See, this is yeah. the logo. And this, this is the, the logo. more of the, the corporate look. So, <laughs> whatever y'all need, different colors. You want to be like this right around time, just in time for one. Right in time for Christmas. Go to undergrounddialogue.com. Get yours today. What's up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. And check this out, man. The Underground Dialogue Podcast is offering advertising opportunities, man. You can promote your business. You can promote your video, your song, whatever it is that you have, man. Reach out to us if you're interested in promoting on the Underground Dialogue Podcast. All you got to do is email us at undergrounddialoguepodcast at gmail.com. Get it.